Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab where we will add an application load balancer to the code deployment and that is our deployment group and then after that we will do another deployment and see how the deployment takes shape all right for that let us first create the target group and create target group for instances give it the name tg for code deploy and this is going to be on port 8080 okay and everything else looks good next now these are the two ec2 instances backed by auto scaling group this was the single ec2 instance created so we need these two and create include as pending below and create target group and now that target group is created now we will create the load balancer and create load balancer application load balancer and everything is good internet facing listens on port 80 will be active in all the three availability zones configure security settings oh we have not given the name okay a l b code deploy great configure security settings configure security group load balancer wizard this is what we have been using right next configure routing and let us select the existing target group port 8080 works fine register targets next review create successfully created load balancer now it will provision however let us modify our deployment group applications this is the application and the deployment group where we have auto scaling group let us edit this and use the application load balancer option and let us select the target group and by now i believe the target group must have ec2 instances provisioned it, registration is in process but that doesn't impact what we are going to do save changes great wonderful now that our deployment group is configured with auto scaling group as well as application load balancer we have created the same scenario that we had created manually in the previous section wherein we had first created the auto scaling group and we were launching application with the help of user data script and auto scaling lifecycle action and then we had configured ALB now we have created the same scenario we need to create a deployment but before that why don't we get a new build for ourselves okay and in the meantime yep it is healthy these two inst instances so for that let us change the color let us make it a little bit decent hopefully okay great save index.js this is where we have made the change and get status yep get add get commit message is changed index color get push now we have a valid reason to do a new build and then a new deploy 
deployment rather okay so build and build projects this is the build project that we have start the build and then it will be available here the package zero hours five minutes and yes changed index color start build phase details okay succeeded and refresh we know the drill and make it public exit copy the uri and let us go to deployment applications this is the application and we have this deployment group in this application where we will do the deployment create deployment this is the uri and a zip package cool create deployment since we have done these steps now so many times that's why i'm not repeating myself in explaining as to what is happening i'm taking the liberty of assuming that you understand the concepts and what is happening which resource is getting created and everything now in this case since there is an alb so the first step will be to stop traffic coming to the application load balancer so that there is no traffic that application load balancer forwards to ec2 instances through its listener and then do the deployment of application and then initiate traffic on load balancer and ultimately on ec2 instances that's exactly what is happening right now block traffic which means target deregistration is happening all right it is going to take some time hence i will pause the recording for some time so all these we have gone through before block block after block these are the hooks by which traffic is blocked on ec2 on alb and hence on ec2 instances then these are our usual application deployment hooks and then these are the hooks through which traffic is allowed on alb and hence ec2 so this is where after deployment the ec2 instances will be registered here okay great let us wait here so now allow traffic is in process and hence these two are registered to the target group once again and once the deployment finishes we will test the alb endpoint and we will see if we are getting the responses that we expect from the apis great i'm going to pause the recording once again and we will resume once the deployment is done so now deployment is green it has been a success so let us grab the alb endpoint which is this and first of all let us try and bring the application up yeah so the color has changed i'm not saying it's very cool but yes it has changed oh these two are not going together okay we'll see that in next change and let us come to postman and for alb let us change the current value and yep update it and let us see if we can 
fire these API calls. Create table. But this is from one of the EC2 instances. Okay. And now in ALB, insert data. Yep. And from another EC2 instance, which was probably this let us do read data from alb we are now going to update data from ec to another we are going to delete data and from alb we are going to delete table now what does this indicate that the application is accessible from EC2 instances directly as well as from ALB? And so when we say from ALB, ultimately EC2 is performing the API calls, but ALB is taking the responsibility of distributing the traffic between these two EC2 instances. So if we want only the EC2 instance, only the ALB rather, to do this distribution and we if we do not want anyone to directly access the EC2 instances for API calls then we have done that in previous session as well let us come to EC2 management and this is the security group so we need to configure the security group of EC2 instance, let us bring up any EC2 instance. So the security group is this. We will ensure that the inbound rule is modified in such a fashion that on port 8080 only the security group of load balancer is allowed that's it so only the load balancer can ping or say send request on port 8080 okay now let us do the api calls this will be interesting so from alb let us do the create table created from one of the EC2 instances, let us to insert data. It says sending request. Great. So it is not working. Let us cancel this and let us do it from the other EC2 instance. Please do not confuse with this. This is the message for previous successful uh, API call. And click on insert data. It will once again say sending request because the port is not open. Let us cancel this. And if we do that through ALB, yes, you go through it. Read data. Yep. So ALB is receiving the requests that we are sending and then it has taken up the responsibility of distributing traffic between these two EC2 instances equally. Update data, delete data and we don't know as of now although we can configure uh, so that we know which EC2 instance is getting hit when but that's not in the scope of this course but as of now we know that we do not have to worry about the ec2 instances behind the alb all we know that we have an endpoint through alb and we can do our api calls through the alb itself that's it for this session thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next session